All right, class, in the last video, we were talking about the relationship between tangential velocity and angular velocity. And so now um, let's look at, and I'll just go ahead and duplicate this page. Let's look at what's going to happen, um, can I say, for tangential angular acceleration, okay? and uh, rotational. So let's just go ahead and look at this. I'm going to attempt to use the same, the same figure here. So now we have some velocity, some tangential initial velocity that's going in this direction. And we'll have some tangential final velocity that's going in this direction, all right? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to connect both of those vectors, like so. And so this will be our initial tangential velocity, and this will be our final. And between them, we have some delta, OK? some change in velocity between those two. But we understand that that's what's going to happen as well. So now we have one triangle, and let's just make sure that we understand that this is going to be some delta theta in between here. And whereas I normally would, in the last video, I had this theta as delta. I'm going to call it not that delta as theta. I had that that theta or this angle just written as theta. Now let's just call it delta theta. Okay? So that means that it's going to have some angle here, some initial angle here. Then it's going to have some final angle here. All right? And then we're going to have some r that's associated with it. Now what we have here are two similar triangles. And so from a geometrical perspective, we can relate uh, similar triangles. And the way we're going to relate this is like so. We're going to say that delta V over the initial velocity, the initial tangential velocity, is equal to, and our, it's going to be the arc length, Okay, so again, we're allowing the, the y here to go to our arc length as theta goes to zero. Okay, basically theta is a very small number. Over r. So remember, we, we got into that delta s over r back here. Okay. So now since we've related similar triangles, and similar triangles has to do with geometry. I, I don't know if I gave you that work in Math Excel, but I just want you to know that if we have similar triangles, then we can relate the sides. The sides are equivalent. Uh, and so just the way in which I'm doing this, we have a side here, and this side is going to be equivalent to our delta S. Then we have a side right here, which is the uh, initial tangential velocity, and it's going to be related to r. So if we orient these triangles, uh, they would look something like this. We have similar triangles. It's like a triangle inside of a triangle. Okay, and because they look like that, we can, we can actually put them, and let's just say that this is r, and this is vt initial. And let's say on this side, we have delta S, and, and we also have V, delta V, over here, okay? So even though you may not know it a lot, you can go and look this up, research that a little bit, but we're going to start with this equation here. So we're going to actually take our initial velocity, our initial tangential velocity, and we're going to just take it to the other side. So we end up with 
We end up with delta S over R, okay? So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by delta T, and I'll just do this on the next page. So we had delta V equals to VT initial delta S over R. So, and let me make sure, yep. So what we know is we're going to end up with VT initial, and this is going to be some omega over here, over R. In fact, let's back up from there. Let's not even put that delta in there. Let's keep this like so. Let's just do exactly what we said. So we have some delta V over delta T. This is going to end up v, being VT initial over R. And then we are going to have some delta S over delta T. Now as T goes to zero, we can write uh, the acceleration. Because this piece here is just the acceleration equals to VT initial over R and remember that this is going to be a tangential velocity as well so we can just call that VT initial so we end up with this relationship the acceleration the radial acceleration is equal to the tangential velocity squared over R So now this isn't the tangential acceleration, but this is our radial acceleration. So it's a center seeking. If this is an object and it's being swung around like so, it's a center seeking acceleration. Okay? And so we also need to concern ourselves with the tangential acceleration. And I'm going to do that in the next video. Alright?